Hello and welcome to yet another appreciation post on Total War Shogun 2. This time we are appreciating how shit a unit is. It's not entirely true. I, I, this is also a good opportunity for me to, to use units that I don't often use. Mostly because I think they're shit. <laughs> but maybe they'll surprise me. Uh, today that unit is the Hojo Han Mortar. This is actually uh, recommended to me uh, when I did the Fire Rockets video. People were, or someone said they were excited when they saw Hojo and they're like, yes! Hojo Han Mortars and then it turned out to be Fire Rockets. Which are much better than the Hand Mortars, but anyway, there you go. Uh, so yeah, ho Hojo Hand Mortars, I've rated these pretty low on the, on multiple lists that I've made. Uh, I just don't think they're particularly good. They're also incredibly difficult to obtain. Didn't mean to do that. Now I have to add one. I just wanted to see uh, their uh, their thing. They need an, uh, a gunsmith, which is uh, the thing that requires gunpowder mastery, which is just like every unit that requires gunpowder mastery. They're kind of shit because it takes work too long to get that, which is why I never use it. Um, anyway, but we uh, we are going to use them in this, and either we appreciate how crap they are, or maybe they'll surprise me. We can appreciate how they're actually kind of okay, and I call them shit all the time for no reason. We'll find out. Um, normally, well not normally, uh, but yeah, I, I have been kind of looking at comments to see what people want to see and then just basing my next appreciation post on that. There's so many units to appreciate, so I'm not going to run out of these anytime soon. Uh, but in this particular case, since uh, th currently this video, by the time you're seeing it, is probably Saturday the... What is the Saturday? Next Saturday. Is that the second or third or something? Or... That's the second, I think. Uh, either way, um, that day is when you're watching this. Uh, whereas uh, currently it is the 25th of September, Saturday, because I'm going on holiday tomorrow. So I couldn't wait until the next appreciation post goes up, which is later tonight, to see what people wanted to see. Because I uh, won't have time to record anything anymore. Uh, anyway, so just, just before we get this... Actually, well, let's just get started. There's no sponsor in this one again, by the way, just uh, in case you're worried. Um, but yeah, just in case you don't know what the Hojo Hand Mortar is, it's basically a firebomb thrower, except they have a range of 300. But it's the same, like, they do the same thing. They, they, f their, their weapon is, ex is basically identical, except their means of delivery is different. They fire it over a massive range rather than throwing it from their hand. Um, and that, of course, requires the ridiculous technology that you need, because firebomb throwers are obviously quite a lot easier to obtain. The problem is that the damage is kind of okay, but from what I recall, although I have buffed them up to 9 experience, but their accuracy usually tends to be kind of meh. In that, from my experience, and I'm probably going to get disproven immediately upon this first volley, but what I this is a very cool sight though, let's be honest. They usually, uh, every time I see this, they the bombs hit like in front of the units, and that seems to be a very common occurrence, and I think it might just about happen here as well. Yeah, look at that. It hits like the front of the unit, there as well, there, and it's like, it still hits them, but if it just fired, like, slightly more accurately, it would do so much more damage, like, instead of killing 17 of these guys, it would kill 100. It's just insane, the difference in accuracy, just because it fires, like, in front of the unit, and that is a common occurrence. So, I, I, luckily, I didn't get disproven, and my statement about these units remains true, because it's such a cool idea, and it's actually such a... It could be such a good unit if only they were more accurate. I imagine that perhaps if you were able to lock down units, and if they could fire over the top of that, then maybe or they maybe they'd be really good against range units. That's actually probably what we'll do for the second video or the second battle. I mean, is we'll uh, we'll put some range units firing at. Look at this! Like look at this! Just fire slightly further, you son of a bitch! And I'm pretty sure you can't like manually aim or anything with the miter. Oh, here's some decent hits, I think. Oh. Oh. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, in the second one, I'll probably put some Naginata Samurai on our team. Let them tank some arrows so that these guys can just have an absolute field day firing at, um, at range units. Because that's probably what they'd be good at, is units that are stationary. And especially units like range units that want to be actively um, doing something, you know, firing their bow. Um, if you disrupt the ability for them to do so, then not only do you do a ton of damage to them, um, but you also disrupt them from doing what their damage, basically. So, again, the idea behind the Hojo Hem Order is so good, it's just their accuracy for some reason. And it, it's not just the accuracy, I'm pretty sure it's just, it's one of those things where it's coded to fire in front of the unit. 
and I guess it's coded a little bit to, to fire a little bit too far. Maybe they'd be better against faster units, I don't know. It's probably not, but... Um, it's, uh, it's a similar thing with the Armstrong guns, I'm sure if you guys have seen, if you haven't, then I'll explain it to you. Uh, the Armstrong gun, uh, if you don't manually fire it, it will always fire at the edge. I'm pretty sure it's at the right edge of a unit, so let's say this is an Armstrong gun. It will always fire, fire at this part of the enemy unit. Um, and usually, because there's so many units, it still does a ton of damage anyway. But if they just fired in the middle, they would be even more effective, and they're ridiculously effective already. Alright, we're definitely going to lose this battle, so, well, you know what, let's just triple speed for a bit, see what happens. We have 9 experience, but even then, it's not going to be enough. What was that? Um, Our men are running, running from, from the, the battlefield. battlefield! A shame Save for the spray! Uh, anyway, so yeah. Uh, I think it's one of those hard-coded things that just kind of makes the unit a little bit worse than it should do, should be. Um, Armstrong Guns is definitely on the list, by the way. I've mentioned them a couple times now. They, they're they coming soon for a unit that needs to be appreciated. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's a shame, because it makes them so much worse than they really need to be. It's such a, an interesting unit, the Hoja Handwarders, and I really like the idea behind them. Like, Firebomb Throwers, I kind of like them too. It's just that they're vulnerable, they're difficult to use, etc. These guys overcome the difficult to use because they have 300 range they overcome the vulnerable because they have 300 range so they, you know they're nowhere near enemy archers or anything like that obviously they're vulnerable to cavalry but you just have to protect them but they just suck in accuracy like there's always something it's annoying as heck right anyway let's um let's bring a uh, billion bow actually no yeah no that, yeah no 10 is fine 10 boashigaru and we are going to bring with us a couple of, it doesn't really matter actually, I just need to have units that hold a line so that they can get fired upon, which means that I can then fire upon them. And maybe I'll even uh, pause the battle and fire them one at a time at each specific enemy unit so that we have uh, a couple of incredible, like a really insane first volley. I'll, I'll take them off fire at will and all that as well. well it's slightly foggy, slightly annoying, it's more like uh, yeah, let's, let's actually not spread out so far. There's no, um, it's not like a gun unit where they need to be spread out in order to fire. It's, it doesn't work like that. Right, so let's have you guys just sit over here. Hopefully that may, they'll just target the Naganata Samurai. Obviously we're going to be well in range by the time they get in range of my Naganata Samurai. So let's take these guys off fire at will for a second. Have them come towards us. I want them to basically start firing before I start firing at them. So I'm not going to fire yet. Okay, we're getting into position, right? So now I'm actually going to pause the video. Or not the video, sorry. <laughs> pause the battle. And I'm going to have each of them target a different unit. So that they all unlock basically at the same time. These ones on the edge might not be as effective. Because these guys are still moving, I'm pretty sure. But no, that's supposed to be that one. Well, two units are going to be firing at that one. Right. Uh, I'll... Uh, no, no point taking off fire will, I suppose. So that doesn't really matter, does it? Um, alright, now, actually, let's slow-mo that, because I want to see some good-ass fucking volleys. I could have made these guys into loose formation, but it's really not going to matter. Bo uh, Ashigaru are not going to do particularly well. If you saw my last one, oh, see, that's what I mean, I love that. If you saw my last uh, appreciation video, I actually had a Naganata Samurai and a Date Bulletproof Samurai against... Well, actually, I wonder, are they going to still hit the front of the unit? In which case, it's, it's, it is purely... Just hard coded to hit the front of the unit. Let me pause this for a second because I want to. I want to talk. Um, oh god, that is so cool as well. What hap Whatever happened to Arrow CA? Come on, man. W what happened to this? Look at this shit. This is so cool. And you decided to fuck it up, by making horrible looking arrows. Uh, anyway, yeah. What I was gonna say before we this next time I don't need to focus on too many things at once is that we had a Naganata Samurai and a um, Date Bulletproof Samurai going up against two archers. And the archers ran out of ammo by the time they killed half the units. So these guys are never gonna be able to do enough against these guys. Anyway, oh, that that arc, I don't know, man. It, it it looks like it might just hit the front of the unit again. I'm really worried about this. Let's find out. Oh no, that's no, that's definitely good. All right, so they're they're not. Oh, that's pretty beautiful right there. That's definitely um, that's definitely a lot more effective. So yeah, it basically has to do with movement. They just can't aim properly when a unit is moving. So they are indeed as expected. Far superior against stationary units. Far superior. Like, not even remotely 
I mean, it still didn't kill 100, like I said earlier, but that was a bit of an overstatement, of course. But it still did a lot better. And that was just one volley. I don't... I, I mean, again, these are 9 experience. I still don't know if I would use them over anything else. Like, the, the problem being that what a time you can recruit these guys, if you're playing as the Hojo anyway, you can recruit Fire Rockets. I mean, if you're playing as any other clan, you can't even recruit these guys. You can only recruit Fire Rockets. So, it's like, would I use these guys or would I, would I use Fire Rockets, which are proven to be just far and far superior? It just doesn't really make much sense. Shench. To, um... Oh god. Turn off the UI. To, uh, to go with this unit when, when the Fire Rockets are more reliable, just way more damaging. It's just, it's just a better unit overall. It's just, it's just not a challenge, is the thing. I guess the only thing you could say is that Fire Rockets, I think, are more expensive, but... When you get to the point that you have Gunpowder Mastery unlocked, money really shouldn't be an issue anymore unless you're doing something horribly wrong. And, I mean, this unit, I guess you could say it's probably better at sieging, just because it's got a far higher arc than Fire Rockets do, but then Fire Rockets are also great at just blowing up a wall. And then, once you've blown up the wall... Oh, see, I love this. Too bad these guys kind of fucked it up, but... Um, yeah, when you're firing uh, at a wall, Fire Rockets will blow it up real quick as well, and it'll just do so much damage. And now the problem also becomes that it seems like... It's, they're all firing at these random couple of guys in the front. I mean, look at that. Look at a big-ass unit that could be fired upon there. Oh. What is that? All those fucking shrapnel bits. If, what, like, all that stuff over here could be fired upon. But no, the, the unit's like, now let's fire at the three guys that are at the front by themselves. Who aren't doing anything anyway. Because they're still shaken up from getting shot just now. They're trying to get back on their feet take another fucking blast in the face and they weren't doing anything anyway again it's just like look at how many units are still alive because that first volley did quite a bit and then after that it's just terrible because they're not hitting anything oh god it's such a sh it just makes me sad this unit because it's so cool but it's just not it's just not effective i mean look at how ineffective that is at a stationary unit because they're firing at Oh, see, now the front guys died, and then they fired... Okay, here we go. So it's properly lined up. This next volley should be pretty good. Look at that. When the unit's properly lined up, it's so good. But when the unit's all over the place like that... Which means they're not necessarily good against archers, because archers have that problem where they keep doing that. One of our units has <laughs> We're out of fucking ammo. We haven't even killed an equal amount of Boashigaru in the time that it takes us to run out of ammo. Oh, that is just sad, dude. That is actually just sad. Look at that. You guys couldn't even fucking do it. Get in there. Time to sacrifice yourselves for the greater good. That is actually just... That, that is that is pretty sad. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty sad. I'm sad. I'm saddened at the uh, the idea of fire... Well, fire rockets. Fire... Hand, hold your hand mortars. There's no fire in there. <laughs> Look at that. They messed up those guys, though. I guess technically they did kill all ten of them. But it wasn't pretty. It's just... I... This is this is a lament, a lament to Hojo Handwarders is what this video is. This is not an appreciation post. It's a lamenting of what could have been the unit that just fell short. Right. Well, we have to do one more uh, battle because all of these have been free or in the last video's case, I think it was four or five in the end. But let's do one more. I got to think of what we want to do now. Get rid of these bozos. Do we do a? Um, I think we, I think we've got to. I think what we'll do is actually something very similar, but slightly different. Um, hmm. We need to. We need to not. We need to bring a Naginata Samurai. That's what I need to do. Right. I'm sorry. I was just thinking about how we're going to do this, and then we're going to bring a single. Boashigaru. Uh, actually, no, we have a, just like I did this before. An Ikoiki Boashigaru. Would you look at that? He's getting smarter. Alright, so an Ikoiki Boashigaru. You guys can already uh, tell what's gonna happen. I need. Sh do I need him to be defensive? I think I do. Stop. You violated the law. Alright, so they're gonna be defending. We're gonna do the same thing as before. Um, I did this with, I think, the Otomo Dunderbus Cav. 
where I'm going to place a Naganata Samurai in front of them. In that case, I think I used the Notomo Thunderbus card, but I'm just going to use a Naganata Samurai this time. Let them fire at it. Hope they actually do, and not at these guys, but if they do, oh well. Um, and then we're just going to run all over the place. Make sure I take them all off fire will. Not make that mistake again. So, yep. Um, yeah, alright. You're just gonna park in front of them. It looks like it might be targeting. I'm not, I'm not gonna go as... Yeah, they're definitely... Oh no, they're firing at them, never mind. Okay. You kinda go over there. And then one of you kinda go over there. And then you go over here. You go over here. Okay, that's decent. It doesn't have to be, you know, exact, but a little bit spread out is nice. Do, no, 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 no. Are they still firing at these guys? Looks like it. Please, sir, don't do it. I could put him in, yard, in the illustration, but then they might be more tempted to fire at something else. Look at the amount of arrows behind the unit as well. That's brutal. Alright, so just waiting for the last couple of units to get in a position. Uh, you're actually pretty far away. Let's move you a little bit closer. Doesn't really matter, to be honest, but... Alright, that looks a little bit more neatly spread out. Uh oh, we're losing morale. I should have upgraded their morale. Fuck. I made a grave mistake. Alright, so I don't know if it's exact... It's not exactly in the middle of all these units, but it's actually pretty close. So, we're gonna take him off fire at will. And the arcs are, are probably still gonna be really high, kind of. Oh, wait. Uh, fucking slow mode up, of course. Don't be a dickhead. Alright, I think everyone has areas in the process of firing, so it should be arriving pretty so soon. Probably quite hard to see it on YouTube, those little balls, but here they come. We're a mere seconds away from the Ikawiki extinction. Oh, fucking hell, it happened behind me first. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's that good old explosion uh, gif again. Oh my god, have I found... Oh, not even. Oh my god, I was going to say, have I found the strength of the Hojo Han Mortars in that 10 units will kill 200 men in one volley, but no, not at all. They have Vowed them, which is pretty decent, but they've only killed 124 of them in... I mean, literally 400 of those explosions went off. And they only killed... Was that 124, let's say? Yeah. That is just sad. I think it's, uh, this in the end, uh, a lament, but also a, um, a p appreciation post of the disappointment that is Hojo Hand Mortars. And I think my opinion on them certainly hasn't changed after this. I, I think I did a couple of fair tests. I gave them the benefit of the doubt, upgrading them to level 9 as well, which I've done with all, um, all of these, but still. It should make them, you know, it should show them in their best light, and it just it just simply doesn't, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, hold your hand, mortars. I appreciate that you are not particularly good at killing people, or really doing anything else, for that matter. But there you go. Any of them particular? I mean, 26 kill. How sad is that? That must, must have been one of the... I mean, that would have been the best volley that landed, and it still only killed 26 men. Even when they get everything in their favor. And it's just like the perfect setup for them. And they still don't kill that much. Honestly, they probably would have killed more if it was actually just one unit against one. But I mean, we saw that in the battle beforehand. And that wasn't that effective either. So I, I don't know. Either way, that's going to be that for now. Thank you guys so much for watching another post appreciation. Or appreciation post even on the total war shogun 2 again more units to come let them know let me know in the comments which unit you'd like to see appreciated by me as i said armstrong guns are still near the top of the list um and then i'm sure there's, there's still lots of other stuff uh, but yeah if you have any units that you'd like to uh, see appreciated then just let me know until next time have a good day and goodbye